Back in May, the Sheriff's Office here in Caldwell got a recall from the Franklin Parish Sheriff's Office that a vehicle had been pushed down in the Beth River at the Three Rivers boat ramp by two men late at night. We sent divers down and found one vehicle that had been stolen and missing for quite some time. And our side scan in our Sheriff's Office boat picked up another vehicle about 200 yards south of the Highway 4 bridge in the Beth River, about 22, 23 feet. The second time, I, along with a diver from Franklin Parish, dove down the vehicle. It was pitch black. We went along the vehicle, felt along the vehicle, made our way to the back side of it, was able to read the license plate by hand, read it out, called it in with our intercom system to the boat on the surface. They got on the radio and ran the license plate, and it came back to a vehicle stolen out of Washtaw Parish. At that point, we notified the Sheriff's Office in Washtaw that we had a vehicle in our water here stolen from Washtaw. They sent their dive team down to dive to recover the vehicle as a crime scene. Hello, my name is Chris Sullivan. I'm the veterinarian in uh, Caldwell, Louisiana. And I want to talk to you today about some helpful hints for your uh, dogs and cats uh, in this summer weather. One is, I want to make sure we have access to plenty of water and shade. Uh, heat stroke's a big issue right now with these 100 plus degree days. Uh, making sure that they're safe and healthy. Another thing we worry about around in this parish is uh, the snakes. Uh, most of the snake bites around here uh, are going to be okay, but we want to just be sure that they're safe. And one of the things you can do until you get a hold of your doctor is you can give them Benadryl, uh, one milligram per pound, not a cc, but a milligram per pound. So a 25 pound dog takes a 25 milligram Benadryl capsule, but you need to get a hold of your veterinarian so that he can give further uh, medicines to help your, your dog out. And probably the last thing that I talked to you about today is you really uh, want to make sure that you uh, keep them uh, safe from the fleas and ticks that carry some really bad diseases and there's lots of medications that you can get from uh, your local veterinarian or from your pet store that will uh, keep the fleas and ticks off of them, keep them away from these bad diseases. But those are the things that we're seeing in Caldwell, Louisiana right now and uh, suggest you take care of your animals in that way. I've been uh, working with the nurse home now. This is probably our fourth year. Uh, twice a year we'll bring them out fishing, uh, either here at the camp or, or to the house. Uh, usually between, between 10 and probably 15 we'll bring out. And uh, I have the trustees come help and they'll bait the hooks for them and take the fish off. And, and then when we get through fishing, we usually have them a, a good fish fry. Uh, to eat, and as you can see now, we have uh, one of them come play some music with us, just to, to get out and show them uh, a little respect and, and how much we care about them. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm on the board. I am a volunteer. We're all volunteers. Um, it's, we started um, this group in April of 2011 because Cobble Parish really didn't have um, anything for them. And we're, we uh, started a no-kill shelter. It took us about a year to raise enough money to actually build a shelter. So in the meantime, the volunteers, a lot of them have the dogs at their houses. We have approximately 75 dogs at the shelter and they are, um, we've got all kinds of breeds. Um, the shelter's open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 2.30. It's located right beside the Correctional Center in Clarks. 